This is Deltina Hay, author of the Bootstrapper's Guide to the Mobile Web. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom domain for your mobile website. Now what I mean by a subdomain, or a custom domain, is an extension of your existing website that goes to your mobile website. It's become standard to use M dot whatever your website name is to represent the mobile version of your website. In other words, if I place an M dot ahead of Plum Web Solutions, then I go to the mobile version of the website. Now granted, this doesn't look very good on a regular desktop computer, but if I shrink this down, you can see that it's actually meant for a smaller screen or a mobile device. And so the M dot Plum Web Solutions dot com is the subdomain or the custom domain for the mobile version of the website. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Now to create a subdomain for your main website, you want to go to whatever company is hosting your website. You want to go to the Site Manager or the cPanel or the Dashboard or the Control Panel or whatever they call the main area where you do things like create users and email and kind of your general settings area for the website. Now once you get to your panel, in my case it's called a site manager, once you get there you want to look for an area if it's called domain settings or DNS records. Okay, once you find that you want to click on DNS records because that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a new DNS record for our website. So however you need to get to that place, in my case I need to click on add and I have a choice of a number of different DNS types and I'm going to choose CNAME and now remember that I'm going to create the subdomain called M just m.plumwebsolutions.com because that's actually become standard to represent a mobile version of your website. Now you need two things here though. You need not just the domain name or the subdomain name, but you also need a destination. Now what that destination is, is when somebody types in m.plumwebsolutions.com, this server needs to know where to send them. Now, if you created a mobile version of your website, say in a directory of your website, when you would enter this, that directory name here. But the example I'm going to use here is the case where you may have created a mobile version of your website using a service, specifically like MoFoos, which is just one of the examples that I use in the Bootstrapper's Guide to the Mobile Web. And I want to show you what their panel looks like when you create a mobile website using their service. You, you have a several steps here that you want to go through when you're creating your site. And one of those steps is to create your custom domain. Okay, so when you click on that, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. Now this is really common for no matter what service you're using. And the services that I use as examples in my book and in these videos, are not meant to be preferential. I just try to show you the best services that I think are representative of the ones that are out there. So you're going to see a panel like this when you go to create your custom domain. And you need to choose your domain name here. You need to actually tell the service what your domain name is. And when you enter that in there, it's then going to kind of walk you through how to create your CNAME record, just like I'm doing right here in this video. But the thing that you need to find out from the service that you created your mobile website on is what entry you need to place into the destination area when you're creating your CNAME record. So remember you're doing two things. You're creating the subdomain, which in our case is just M, and then you need a destination, in other words, where that subdomain is going to point to. And so Mofu says that this address right here, mofushosted.com, 
is what you want to put in the destination area. Now note that there is a period after this and that period is actually important to include. And so we would copy this and then we paste it in the destination field of our site manager. Now what's going to happen here is that since we made the destination to go over to MoFus, and when we created this custom domain in MoFus, we actually gave it a domain name. And so we've actually linked these two things. When, the ser when your server encounters somebody wanting to go to this domain name, it's going to send it to the MoFus server, which is then going to look at this m.plumwebsolutions destination and know that that points to the mobile website that you've created on MoFus. And so what you're really doing is telling MoFus what your subdomain name is and then over here on your site manager you're telling your web host where to point that subdomain to. So you're really doing sort of a linking. That's why the subdomain and the destination are two required fields in this step. So once you're finished with that, you would just click on Finish. And now we have a CNAME record or a subdomain that's been created for our mobile website. Now if you're confused about any part of this process, I highly recommend that you contact your hosting provider and ask them to walk you through how to do this. They're very experienced and they typically know how to set these things up for you and what it is that a service like MoFus or any of the other mobile website services are asking when they ask to create a CNAME record. And so that concludes this video. This video was brought to you by the Bootstrapper's Guide to the Mobile Web. You can find the book on Amazon anywhere books are sold or at thebootstrappersguide.com.